Hello, my dear friends. I know it's been a long time, and um, I have definitely missed you guys. I've missed uh, being on here and doing readings for you, but um, I am here, and I will um, try my best to stay consistent with the readings. I have been going through some things, so I'm just trying to get my, my head space uh, cleared, uh, my heart space cleared, and um, so I can come back fresh and 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 be really truly with you guys okay so that is where I am right now this reading is for my dear Aries <coughs> Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter signs I was um, pre-shuffling and we're gonna do a Celtic cross for the month of March this reading is for March but of course, whenever you see this reading, it's when you're meant to see it, okay? Um, but as I was getting ready to start the camera, uh, the Ten of Wands flipped over in my deck. And I just feel like a lot of you guys are trying really, really hard to leave something alone. Um, struggling to set someone free. And I feel like this has everything to do with a past life relationship or somebody that you feel very very familiar with um, a relationship that's been hard for you to let go of or somebody that's been hard for you to let go of uh, in a sense okay so let's see what's going on for the month of March for you guys please show me messages for Aries what's going on around Aries currently and I see the high priestess here okay this is all about trying to get in touch with with your intuition with your feelings and, and trying to figure out like what path should I be taking what should I be doing okay and it's not something that you're necessarily sharing with someone bringing anyone in on what it is that you're thinking or anything like that but just really trying to get yourself together for you to figure out what's best for you this is Piscean energy here I feel like also Gemini energy is here as well let's see what's crossing my Aries the magician okay Gemini Virgo type energy um, this is also I feel like Scorpio sort of energy okay very intuitive but not only are you intuitive you actually follow your intuition some people can like um, know certain things but they don't act on it I feel like you guys for the most part are getting a feeling of what it is that you want to do what you're supposed to be doing and you're actually acting on it okay you're putting into action what it is that you're actually feeling for some of you there's a need to do that okay some of you feel something deep down inside and you're questioning yourself there's a need for you not to question yourself and follow what it is that you are actually um, feeling like you need to do. Okay? <clears throat> a lot of cards flipping over here. That looks like about 10 cards, guys. Let's see what the underlying issue is here. What is the underlying issue for my Aries? I see a card sticking out there, too. The Nine of Cups, of course. Your happiness. Doing what makes you happy. Doing what makes you feel good. Being concerned about you. And not putting yourself on the back burner for anybody else. Again. Okay. Again. Piscean energy there. I don't know why that looks crooked. I'm going to have to fix that. Um, yeah. Just doing what's best for you. Because a lot of times with Aries, I noticed that um, some guy, sometimes you guys, you know, are the sacrificial lamb metaphorically when you love somebody it's like you give your all and you give it until you're depleted you know and this is just you just realizing that you have to do what's best for you first and foremost okay let's see what this is the page of wands but that's not something that you're really used to you're not really used to doing that but there's something that's awakening in you that's that's saying hey in order for Aries to be happy with someone, they first have to be happy. Okay? It's not all about making sure that somebody else is good. It's about making sure that Aries is good. Okay? Doing things that you're interested in. 
being involved in situations that 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 make you feel excited you know make you feel wanted make you feel like okay this person's flirting with me they're really interested in me you know and not trying to make sure that person knows that you're interested in them all the time <clears throat> let's see what's going on in the recent past for Aries five of cups you guys were really sad there was something that you felt like um, uh, you couldn't get over and I feel like this was dealing with a soulmate relationship and you were stuck there because there was something about this person that um, you felt like you guys belonged together there was something pulling you towards them and there was something that was keeping you there until it just got to this point where you were just freaking miserable I feel and it may even be that this person had left you and you still weren't ready to completely disconnect but I feel like at this point you are struggling to make sure that you're good to make sure you put those feelings behind you because you're tired of feeling this way soulmate or no soulmate okay what is this ace of pentacles in the past there was something that was really really um significant for you guys you thought it was a start of something that could grow to like this um this marriage potential even but i feel like it really ended before it really got started for real this camera is really messing with me in the way that it is um, leaning. So hang on one second, guys. And I should have done this before, I know, but bear with me. Let me see if I can get that straight. I don't know why that is looking so... Huh. Because I can't even get all the cards in the frame like that. Not unless I put that one down there, put one up here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is what I do. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like um, you felt in your heart this was something that was, that was really, really going to lead to something. But um, there was something that happened here that... It, it, it got in the way. Something, somebody's past, I feel like, got in the way. Somebody was already committed or either a very committed relationship was still at play here. I'm feeling like um, uh, for some of you, there was a relationship, your relationship with this person, even though you probably knew them before. You had history with this person, but I feel like this person in between you getting before you getting with them, rather, they were actually with someone else. And maybe this was like when you guys got together, it was more of a rebound type of situation. Like they were with someone else and then soon after they left that person, uh, they encountered you and you encountered them and they weren't quite over a situation. So it's something like that. Somebody's past was like getting in the way or vice versa. Of course, this could go vice versa for you guys. Okay. Let's see, what are the crowning thoughts for Aries? Crowning thoughts for Aries. Two of Pentacles. There's a lot that you're trying to balance right now. You have a lot on your plate. Um, I feel like you have a lot of responsibilities. And um, you're, you're really trying to figure out which one of these things uh, should take priority in your life. Should a relationship take priority? Should your job take priority? Or should both of them be at the forefront and you try to balance both of them out? How can you do that? I feel like that's what you're thinking about. Can I have my uh, uh, a successful relationship and a successful business or be successful in my career and um, everything turn out well? That sort of thing. This Capricorn energy there. Okay. So we have... Capricorn, we have Pisces, Gemini, uh, Virgo. Pisces is really strong here. Scorpio's here as well. Okay. What's coming in for Aries? 
Eight of Swords, a lot of reminiscing, a lot of ruminating thoughts, um, just just replaying things, replaying the happenings that that went on between you and someone else. Again, Gemini energy, uh, Gemini Pisces, Piscean energy is strong here. Okay, being concerned, being worried. Now, this could definitely be somebody else's energy. Somebody that's been thinking a whole lot about you guys and what happened between you and the things that they've done wrong, um, coming back into your life, making an entrance into your life once more. Okay? How is Aries viewing their situation currently? Page of Pentacles. Right now, I think for a lot of you, you're probably by yourselves. And um, it's something that is new for you. You're in this whole different realm than you're used to being in. For a lot of you, I feel like um, you've gone from one relationship or one connection to another. And um, being by yourself is not something that you are used to doing. But I think you're, you're on that, that plane where you're feeling like maybe I should just concentrate on being good by myself for a while. Okay, exploring new things, exploring new options. You know, single, singledom may not be so bad. Okay, so that's what I'm, I'm getting from a lot of you guys. Like this, this relationship took a lot out of you with this person, and you really feel like this was the one. But now I feel like you are more concerned with your personal well-being. Okay, and you're not really sure. If you know you have room in your life to be to be personally happy and bring someone else into it, so definitely um, it's something to think about. <clears throat> What's the outside influence for Aries? Ace of Swords. You just want to be victorious. You want um, a truth to prevail. You want an open and honest communication with someone. You want to win. And not in a bad way. You know, I feel like a lot of you have been struggling. And right now you just feel like it's time for me to win. It's time for me to be good. It's time for me to, to really open up my eyes and see that... I should not be putting all of myself into a relationship, especially if somebody's not putting all of themselves into a relationship with you. You know. Hopes or fear, fears for Aries. Hopes or fears for Aries. Knight of Swords. I, I feel like you don't want to argue anymore. You don't want any conflict. Um, you don't want, you know, just to always be on edge. You want to be able to speak your truth and have someone else speak their truth without actually like, um, you know, going for each other's throats. You want to open an honest communication. You want somebody to be straightforward with you. And you want to be able to be that way with someone else without, you know, everything just going to shit. So, I know that's not in the frame. I apologize for that. I have to do something about this camera. I'm going to get it together. I hate that I didn't get it together for you guys, but I'm going to get it together. Let's see. <clears throat> what is the overall outcome here for Aries? Okay, that one wanted to flip. Four of Pentacles. Protecting yourself. This is you protecting yourself. This is you focusing on um, your stability, your sanity, your personal space. Okay? And getting your money <laughs> in the meantime. Okay? I do feel like, um, you know, somebody left you feeling really rejected, really hurt. And I feel like you gave way more in this relationship than the other person did. And you feel that. And you don't want that shit to happen ever again. Okay? So, again, Capricorn energy there. I feel Taurus is here. Aquarius is here as well. All right? So let me pull a Romance Angels card to send you guys out of the reading. Take you guys out of the reading. Please give me some advice or added knowledge for Aries. I see one sticking out that's just calling me. You deserve love. 
you are lovable. Plain and simple. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you guys. And um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.